Hey, in this video I'll be talking about the AirPods Max. Apple recently released a new version of these with USB-C, but they haven't really changed anything else. I've been using these for quite a while. I have the Lightning version, but I believe I can make a review on the new ones simply because the only thing they changed is the USB-C. Okay, so uh, just starting off, um, the design is really premium. It's much better than anything you'll get with like Sony's or um, Bose headphones because all of those are made of plastic. These are fully aluminum uh, stainless steel. Um, they feel really premium. They're pretty heavy. I know a lot of people complain about the weight, like they get neck problems or like it's uncomfortable for long periods of time, but I haven't had any of these issues. I just find them really comfortable. I use them for many hours without any breaks and they're just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so that's basically the design. Another thing to note is that the ear cups really easily just come out with magnets and you can replace them. Um, they probably should last like quite a few years, like you probably won't need to replace them for a while. Um, but there is that if you, if you were wondering. Um, the actual cushions are really soft, they're extremely comfortable. Um, they also do a really good job of blocking noise, which I'll talk about later when I talk about active noise cancellation. Um, but yeah, they're just really comfortable. And the actual depth of the ear cup is more than a lot of other headphones. So it fully goes around your whole ear and you don't have any issues with, um, with like it putting pressure on your ear in any uncomfortable way. So it's really good build quality, really comfortable. Um, I personally haven't had any neck problems or things like that from the weight, but that's pretty subjective. Okay, so next I'll talk about the control features on it. So the digital crown and also the button for active noise cancellation and transparency mode. Um, one thing I like is that it's really convenient to just press both when someone wants to talk to you. So if you're wearing them with like active noise cancellation and you're listening to an audiobook or a podcast or music and someone comes over to talk to you, you can just press both and it'll pause it and then go into transparency mode so you can hear them. So that's really convenient. Um, there is no on and off button as you might know. So you do actually have to use the case in order to get decent battery life. Um, it's a pretty funny case, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. Um, it's not the end of the world, but yeah, you do have to use the case if you want to actually turn them off and save battery life. Um, so now I'll talk about the noise cancellation and transparency mode. This is some of the best noise cancellation I've ever heard. Um, it's, if, if you've heard um, AirPods Pro, if you've used AirPods Pro before, it's, it's quite a lot better than these just because it's like a better seal. It's just more comfortable uh, than having earbuds in. I went traveling like a few weeks ago to Europe and there was a seven hour flight. I just wore these the whole flight and listened to audiobooks. It's absolutely amazing. You can hear the audiobook like and the podcast perfectly at like 30% volume, even with the loud um, airplane engine noises. So that's another thing to note. Um, really good noise cancellation. Transparency mode is also amazing. It just feels like you don't have them on. You can hear everything. Um, so like 10 out of 10 for those really, really good. I haven't heard anything better than these. I'll just briefly talk about comfort. Um, a lot of reviews on the internet talk about how they're, uh, really heavy. As I said, um, I find that they distribute the weight pretty well, especially with the mesh on the top. It's pretty good at distributing the weight on your head and these ear cups are pretty large. So it's actually pretty comfortable wearing it. Um, I don't get any issues, but I guess maybe go to an Apple store and try it out yourself if you want to confirm if you're actually going to purchase these. Um, they, they do clamp your head pretty tightly, um, so it feels pretty secure when you're wearing them. Um, but like that, that being said, it sometimes does put a bit, a, a bit too much pressure, um, but most of the time it's good. I have seen people doing sports like running or biking or going rock climbing in the gym with these and I don't really understand. Uh, I would not want to get these like sweaty or gross because of how expensive they are but and also they are pretty heavy so like doing sports moving around with these things would not be what I'd recommend. Um, they're good if you're just sitting at a desk working or in the library and you don't want to get distracted by anyone you want to turn on active noise cancellation and just lock in and study or something. 
they're really good for that. Um, but I wouldn't recommend them for sports. Um, so the battery life, um, it's stated that it's 20 hours with active noise cancellation on. Um, I, I think it's uh, pretty accurate. Like I, I do get, uh, I, I probably have to charge them like every five days, I'd say to a week, like I charge them up. So battery life is really good. Um, so yeah, like really good battery life. Um, probably better than these. Uh, I used to use the Beat Solo 3, if you've ever used these, um, battery life is probably similar to these. Um, again, I would charge those like once a week as well and they just work. So now I want to get into one of the main reasons why you might want to be getting these is the con the connectivity. So they have really good integration with Apple ecosystem. I actually use a MacBook Air and I have an iPhone as well as um, like an Apple watch and they pair really seamlessly when I'm on the airplane or if I'm just out working and I take out my phone to watch something and then go back to the computer, it automatically switches between all your devices. It's really convenient. Um, yeah, basically never have to go through the Bluetooth settings or anything again. You just pair them to your devices and you're good to go. In terms of the price, these are a lot more expensive than the competitors like the Sony WH XM5s and the Bose 700. Um, if you see those on sale, like check uh, Best Buy, check Costco and Amazon. If you see those on sale, then maybe go for those. But again, if you really want the good connectivity, the good build quality and all the other features you get, then these could be well worth it because these are some of the best headphones you could buy on the market right now. So. Yeah, that's basically it. If you're looking for those features, then definitely consider these. Maybe go try them out at an Apple store. And that's basically it. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of this video. Um, and please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.